This is so good. Good morning and welcome back to Salty Tales. This is the Ninja and today we are in a quest to find out what is the best steak in the whole entire animal kingdom. I know this video is going to be controversial, but nevertheless, it is time to do it. And by that, I mean this. Here we have a top picks of a long list of meats to try. All of them are beautiful fillets and all of them are going to be cooked the same. First, the beef fillet. This steak is the favorite of many of you because of its tenderness and mild flavor. Easy to cook and surely delicious to eat. Then we have the mighty bison fillet. This steak is way less marble than the one before, but nonetheless delicious. That without taking into consideration the strong flavors and health benefits bison meat offers. Enter the king of the valleys, the elk fillet. Strong colors, little marbling, but very tender, and above all, a delicious steak. This competition is getting hard, and just after that, the favorite of all hunters, the deer fillet. Deer fillets are more common for hunters and outdoor people. Mild taste, deep red colors, and a very different but deep flavors make of this steak a favorite to win. And as promised before, we are cooking them all the same. So here we have all the steaks ready to go, but I have to give the Honest Bison the props, guys. These, all these three steaks here are from the Honest Bison, and to tell you the truth, I wouldn't be able to do this comparison without them. So I'm leaving a link down there in the description. If you guys wanna go and check it out, check it out. I will get like a little kickback out of any purchase that you make in there, and it's all good for everybody. So check the Honest Bison if you wanna learn about these steaks, and let's keep on going. First, I will season them with salt and pepper and let them rest on the side while the grill is getting ready. Some people don't like to add pepper to the steak at this point, but I feel like because we are cooking this way, pepper is good to accentuate the flavors of the steak and it's not gonna get burned at all. We are gonna be cooking them all in the reverse sear method. So the first thing to do is to set the diffuser in the grill. Cooking in a grill like this with the diffuser is like cooking in the oven. The fire doesn't touch the meat at any point and all the meat gets is that beautiful heat. It is important to cook the steaks this way first because we can control how hot the fillets get. Remember, when cooking exotic meats like bison, elk, and deer, you have to be careful with the heat. All those meats are way less marble than a beef fillet. So if you cook them as you cook a regular steak, you will overcook them. Bison, elk, deer, and any other wild meat, as soon as it gets to 110 degrees, and if you want a really nice medium rare steak, you should take them out. The beef steak is gonna stay there for a little bit longer until it gets to 120 degrees. Because of the reverse sear method we are using, you need to take the steaks out before the recommended temperature is reached, as we are going to sear these beers afterward and that will take them to 130 degrees. Once all the steaks are cooked, I will remove the diffuser and allow the grill to get hot. I want all the charcoal red and beautiful inside the grill. To make it easier for this video, I will sear the steaks separately and pull them as soon as I like the colors. When cooking this way, all you're looking for is that beautiful, nice presentation on the steak. So as soon as you get to a color you like or this brownish, beautiful color, pick them up. Every time each steak is ready, I will take them out the grill and sit them on a tray to rest. Through all my trials and tribulations with steaks, I figured out that if you rest the steak on a wire rack, all those juices are gonna fall to the tray, and then you're gonna have a better and crispier crust. And the steaks are ready, and now all we need is to allow them to rest. There are a lot of mathematical equations to tell you how long the steaks should be rested, but as experimented before, 10 minutes for these steaks is enough. Okay, Miss Ninja, we have a lot of testing to do here. It's gonna be a long test, guys, so, but we have to figure it out. Let's we have it. to figure it out what's the best steak from the animal kingdom. Oh, I have I'm sorry, I've been like Marvin, my dear. Son. All of them are fillets. Fillet? Okay. Yeah, so you're gonna like it. Let's and see. I think we should start with number A, number B, number C, and number D. There we go, Sesame right? Street. <laughs> guys, stop complaining. 
Letters are numbers. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Let's continue, Miss Ninja. Let's go. Get, get a piece. Yeah. Get anything you want. Right here, my piece. Let's give it a good try. Mmm. 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 It's great. I love it. Mmm. Why are you feeling Coco? My dinner. Coco's down there going wow. My dinner. He's been around the grill ah. all afternoon. Amazing. All right, Miss Ninja, let's go for number B. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. Just gonna cut this one in half. So we have number B here. You guys know what it is, but Miss Ninja does it. No idea. Let's give it a try. <laughs> so tender. <laughs> well, they're very similar. Yeah, similar, but they are really tender. I think this is more tender than the other one. Extremely. Which one you like better from those two? Number B. Number B. She likes number B. Let's go to number C right now. I haven't finished and yet. C. Well, you have to finish, Miss Ninja. You're taking no, forever. No, 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 no. Let me give you a little piece then. All right. Coco, stop eating my dinner. All right, we have number C here. Mm -hmm. Let's go for it. It is tougher. Yeah, but it has a better flavor. Really intense, beefy flavor. Think so? I think so, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you feel a little bit of that iron flavor in it? I food? did. Yeah? Uh huh, like an aftertaste. All right, so let's go for number D, this thing, yeah? And let's end this That's up. That's tiny. That's very tiny. Let's go for it. It's like this. <laughs> it's a little piece. Let's piece. go for number D, guys. <laughs> I mean, it just goes right through. Boom! Oh my God. Extremely tender, but the flavor is like intense. Intense what flavor. Is this? Super tender. So good. Man. Why are you giving me my food? Coco's hungry. That's mine. All right, Miss Ninja, from A, B, C, and D, which is the best for you? For me? Yes, for ya. It's number B. Number B is the best for Miss Ninja. Oh, man, she's always there. She doesn't miss it. <laughs> Guys, for me, that number D is really, really good. So what is good. it? Tell me, tell me. Cause I, I like... think number D would be the winner for me. And number B would be the winner for Miss Ninja. And all of them are delicious. But right. definitely, I, I, I find this one tender and more flavorful at the same time. Intense. This number A is beef. Correct. Number B is bison. Ah. Number C is elk. Whoa. And number D is deer. No wonder. Yeah. The flavor is like intense. They are completely different flavors, guys. And Miss Ninja always loved bison, so she Love the bison. went for it right away. Love the bison. Bison is amazing. and. It is. There you have it, guys. If you really want to run this test, go to uh, the Honest Bison and check those steaks out. They're not too expensive. Dang it. And they are really good. And you guys will enjoy it a lot. So now I have to ask you a question. What? Did I make you hungry? Did he answer? If we made you hungry, you have to hit us with the like. Lots of them. Subscribe to the channel. Share with your friends and family. Do and so. don't forget to leave your comments down there about right there, everything right here. What do you guys think it about doesn't. all this oh. cooking stuff? And Coco is going wild there. Miss Ninja having eaten the whole day. No. So it's time to go. Yeah, but remember go. that. Let's go. I love you. I love you too. Bye-bye. I'm hungry. See you in the next one. <laughs>